myself, Nagan Sandra Sutia, I am the General Secretary of Petroleum and Gas Workers Federation of India. So, the government attack on the petroleum sector is severe, like in other, other public sectors. Uh, government is now trying to privatize so many petroleum, petroleum organizations. In 2018, government decided to sell BPCL, Bharat Petroleum Corporation Limited, uh, which has a total asset about 9 lakh crore, and government finally decided to sell it at 50 to 60,000 crore. So, we, the Federation, our affiliated unions, we raise our voice against this privatization, and still. And uh, this movement is going on in different parts of the country. And we have seen that the selling of BPCL is st still pending. And no party has come to buy this BPCL. Secondly, some other oil in this such attacks are going on in ONGC that few weeks back additional uh, Secretary of Petroleum Ministry, Mr. Nath issued a letter to Chairman of ONGC to hand over 60% of their Bombay High oil field to private parties. That was a threatening and the government is now trying to give this viable oil field. ONGC has so many oil fields but this Bombay oil field is viable and continuously they are developing, producing crude oil in Bombay High. Apart from this, now this national monetization pipeline has come and under this new policy that the government declared that some um, um, petroleum product pipeline, some gas pipeline and some other asset will be monetized. That means the infrastructure developed by the oil companies, public sector oil companies, that will be handed over to private parties in the name of uh, lease, name of uh, PPE, PPP, and for a long time, 30 to 60 years, that will be given to private parties to operate. And I have seen that around 4,000 kilometers of product pipeline will be monetized. About 8,000 km of gas pipeline will be monetized and two hydrogen plant belongs to Indian Oil Corporation Limited, uh, Gujarat refinery that will put for monetization. And some other assets are also there. So basically what will be the impact, what will be the result of this monetization? Now the permanent employees, officers, those who are working in these operations, in this asset, pipeline asset, after monetization, when this private party will take over this asset, definitely all permanent officers and workmen will be removed from the job and they will put some casual, temporary, fixed term employee. So there will be a big attack on permanent employees. Secondly, they, the private parties, those who will uh, control the operation of pipeline, they will create problem. And even there are so many clauses in the NITI report that if pipeline is not utilized, 100% not utilized by the private parties due to shortage of product of the refinery, then compensation will have to pay by the uh, public sector refineries. So now the public sector refinery, they have their own pipeline and as per requirement, they use the pipeline. But after monetization, this uh, public sector refinery will be bound to depend on private, uh, private uh, parties uh, for the pumping of their finished product, for getting their crude oil, for pumping of natural gas and LPG, uh, so that will be dependable. Now, um, uh, 
this public sector refineries are now running with their own infrastructure without de uh, depending on any private company. But after monetization, the, uh, this public sector must depend on private parties. And they will take money, extra money for pumping from the public sector oil companies. So from the money, they will give a small amount to the government as revenue and rest amount they will um, treat as their earning. So after slowly and slowly, what they will do, they will uh, grab the properties of the public sector uh, oil companies. So this is a permanent process, permanent system that government has established. This monetization is a permanent system. Earlier, we know that uh, the selling of share, strategic sale, write-out sale, these, uh, through this process, privatization was going on. But now they have created a new uh, um, uh, scheme that is monetization, national monetization pipeline. This is a permanent system through which Government will give all the asset to the private party slowly and slowly and then no need of any permission, approval from the government, from the parliament, from the um, uh, board of that public sector. So this is the notorious system, very dangerous system for the public sector and slowly and slowly that public sector will suffer and ultimately whole public sector, oil sector that uh, will be handed over to the private party. This is the motto of the government uh, just to hand over the infrastructure. This infrastructure was created by the public sector. You know, to build up a pipeline, it is a very difficult job. Acquisition of land, um, uh, setting up pipeline and uh, regular maintenance and regular operational job. This is a big job and big um, uh, infrastructural asset was created by the public sector oil company. And <clears throat> now these uh, private parties will get all this infrastructure, all this infrastructure and the value they have decided for monetization, that value is not appropriate value, not correct value. Because they have uh, formulated some, uh, uh, some rules how they will calculate the value of this pipeline. For example, for construction of a pipeline, that is a uh, general size of pipeline, 6 inch or 8 inch size of pipeline, general cost is now uh, more than 10 crore per kilometer. More than 10 crore per kilometer. And now government has decided under monetization that value will be fixed at 3 crores per kilometer. In 2019, one pipeline was handed over to private parties. At that time, the rate was 10 crore per, per kilometer. And now, it is reduced to 3 crore per kilometer. So, there will be a looting, load of public money, public sector money, public sector asset by the private party. So, um, as an um, organization working in petroleum sector, I like to appeal all the public sector employees, particularly the petroleum sector employees to protest, to raise their voice against this notorious monetization, of monetization pipeline and its effect and impact in future in petroleum sector. So the coming strike on 23rd and 24th April, definitely we must try to make it successful in petroleum sector, otherwise we cannot save petroleum sector from privatization. We have seen the Kisan movement, how they made their strike, their movement successful, a year-long uh, agitation they have done, and finally they make it success. So we, the petroleum sector, public sector employees must do such a vigorous movement, and this government which is doing their duties for the private sector, we must compel them to uh, repeal the policies, to repeal the uh, monetization and not to private, privatize any public sector. So uh, this is uh, uh, the situation in petroleum and public sector and I'd like to conclude here with this appeal that on 23rd and 24th all will participate in this today's time. Thank you.
वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल डोंट फर्गेट टू लाइक सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर द वीडियोज